Howdy there, it's me, Chris with a K from NetGate. We at NetGate are very excited to bring the latest releases of our software to the world. The 2.7 version of Community Edition represents a significant modernization of the operating system and user interface, while 2305.1 demonstrates our commitment to regular updates for PFSense Plus. I'll be talking more about what exactly is included in these releases in this video. 2.7 has been a long labor of love. We at NetGate have put a substantial amount of work into modernizing PFSense, both from the version of FreeBSD PFSense is based on, to the PHP that actually drives the interface, and all of the bugs and drivers that come along the way. The biggest and most noticeable change is the upgrade to FreeBSD main. What does main mean? It means we're selecting the newest code available from FreeBSD. This is most notable in our driver support, I226 NICs are now supported in 2.7. Other changes include an upgrade of PHP, 7.4 to 8.2.6, support for ChaCha20, Poly 1305, and IPsec, and other new features and bug fixes noted in the release notes linked in the description below. Now, upgrading to 2.7. Two important before you begins I have to cover before you start to upgrade to 2.7. Number one is to back up your configuration. NetGate provides a free way to do this through Auto Configuration Backup, or ACB. That will enable you to back up your configuration remotely. Otherwise, backing up your configuration in another way is totally adequate. Do make a backup of your configuration before upgrading. This is always the best practice. Number two is we highly recommend you uninstall all of your packages before starting your upgrade. We have heard people get away with upgrading without removing their packages. However, it is safest to remove your packages before you start the upgrading process. Once you've done those two things, the upgrade process is straightforward. Open up the system dropdown and select Update. Set your branch to the current stable version, 2.7.0 release, if it isn't selected already. You should then be prompted to upgrade. If not, refreshing the page should display the option to upgrade. And that's it. Your router will handle the rest. Once it reboots, you should be running 2.7. You can now reinstall your packages, and they should have their configuration preserved. For 2305.1, this is a reminder that PFSense Plus remains the easiest way to get the latest changes and enhancements NetGate puts into PFSense. We released 2305 in May, and we released a point release to add a few fixes that we couldn't really wrap into a package. If you want to upgrade to PFSense Plus, see the link in the description to our documentation on upgrading to PFSense Plus for free. Fixes that are in 2305.1 are outlined in the release notes, also linked in the description. If you're on 2301 or 2305, upgrading to 2305.1 is simple. Just go to the system dropdown, select update, select the latest version from the dropdown, and upgrade away. If you're on 2205 or earlier, you will need to upgrade to 2301 first to upgrade to any version after it. These releases are exciting, but this is the world of software. We know that issues will come up. If you have any issues, please visit the NetGate forum for the best help that we can provide. Link is available in the description. If you're on Plus, you can receive paid support through TAC, which is our global team of dedicated support ready to answer your questions and lend a well-trained hand. At the end of the day, PFSense is an incredible piece of software thanks to the community that uses it and the customers that support it. To help us continue to support PFSense in the future, support us by purchasing NetGate hardware, TAC, or our AWS and Azure cloud instances. These purchases directly support the engineering efforts that we put in to PFSense. Thank you so much for supporting us, and I look forward to seeing you in the next release. Bye-bye now.